Honest Abe never lied. That's the good thing. That's the big difference between Abraham Lincoln and you. There's enormous, enormous opportunities once we get rid of Donald Trump. When Donald Trump took the debate stage in 2016, he was a political neophyte, but we knew about how he was going to go about debating. He was going to be unpredictable. He was going to be uncouth. He was going to try to rattle his opponent's cages. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. It's going to be a stark contrast to Joe Biden, who has been in politics for nearly half a century. He's been in a lot of debates, none quite so important as this. His style is much more affable, much more casual. You know me. You know my heart. You know my story. He tries to put his opponents off balance by seeming like the everyman. So walk with me in my neighborhood. Go back to my old neighborhood in Claymont, an old steel town, or go up to Scranton with me. Donald Trump has gone after Joe Biden's competency, questioning his age and his mental acuity. Sleepy Joe Biden. You ever see Sleepy Joe with the little circles? What's better, Sleepy Joe or Slow Joe? Tell me. Joe Biden, on the other hand, has attacked Donald Trump's character, his fitness to serve as the president of the United States in a time of turmoil. The simple truth is Donald Trump failed to protect America. So now... He's trying to scare America. Uh, It could get ugly quickly. There is a risk for both candidates if it does so. While Donald Trump and Joe Biden definitely have different debating styles, they have a a similar weakness. When they get pushed by their opponents, they tend to get defensive. Have you taken a cognitive test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not? Look, look. You know you're a fake. You know that your whole network, the way you cover it, is fake. Both candidates don't like being attacked, and that is when they are, at times, their most unpredictable and most vulnerable. When this debate gets into policy details, there's going to be risk for both candidates. You have Joe Biden, who may not want to talk necessarily about criminal justice policy in detail because he is shifted his position over time. This is one of those instances where the house was set on fire and you claimed responsibility for those laws. And you can't just now come out with a plan to put out that fire. Donald Trump, on the other hand, he might not want to talk about his handling of the coronavirus. It will go away. You know it, you know it is going away and it will go away and we're going to have a great victory. All the candidates prepare intensively for these presidential debates because it is their moment in front of millions of Americans where they try to land a key zinger, an interesting line, something that voters will take with them to the ballot box in just a few weeks. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. (laughs) 